the problem what we have here is a rigid member having a weight of w is connected as shown in figure so we have a rigid member so we have already seen what rigid members are the member which under which won't be undergoing bending okay they will deform as a straight line so that is a rigid member two rods of different material is used to connect them so that's what is shown here two rods one is made of aluminium other one is made of steel uh, they are modulus of velocity value length everything is given in the problem calculate the ratio of area of aluminium rod to area of steel rod such that the rigid bar will remain perfectly horizontal which means that even after the application of this load these bars should remain or this uh, member rigid member should remain horizontal which means the elongation for both the steel and aluminium should be same that is what the clue that is given in this particular problem so if this aluminium delta al is considered as the elongation of aluminium rod and it should be equal to delta steel so that's what the condition that is given in the problem only if these two values are same this platform or this rigid member will remain horizontal or else one side will be going down and all those things may happen so now we need to think about what is the proportion of weight which will be going to these two members then only we can calculate the deformation so let's consider this case so what we have is a platform having a weight w we know that if we consider an object the mass or the weight of the object will be passing through its cg so the cg of this particular member will be at the center and that's what is acting down as w so apart from this there will be a reaction okay so one reaction is here that is p steel okay the reaction in the steel rod i'm considering as p steel and the other reaction will be in the aluminium rod which i'm considering as p aluminium okay and the length of these different sections are given in the problem so it is said that this is 1 meter and here it is 3 meter and in between what we have is 6 meter so we can see that the total length is 10 meters okay 6 plus 3 plus 1 10 meter so the weight will be acting exactly at the center which will be at a distance of 5 meter okay that's where the total weight will be acting okay so if i give some names say a b and the center point i'm giving it as c d and e now in this expression also we have all these points so this is point a point b point c point d and point e as the system is in static equilibrium it should satisfy the equations of equilibrium which is basically sigma fx equal to 0 all the forces in this particular system are vertical so there is no need for writing sigma fx so if i write sigma fy equal to 0 okay sigma fy equal to 0 what i'm going to get is pal acting upward plus p steel acting upward minus w equal to 0 okay so i got the first equation that is p aluminium is equal to w minus p steel okay that's the first equation that i'm going to get now i'm going to apply the equation the summation of moments so now already i have the value of aluminium in terms of steel okay the force in aluminium in terms of steel so if i take moment about this particular point okay the point b in the relationship there will be only p steel and w okay p aluminium won't be there because it is passing through the point hence i am taking sigma mb equal to 0 so what will i get i will be getting there is a force w if i am considering this as the point it is going to uh, create a clockwise moment 
So the moment is the force W. Leave around. This is three meter. The center point is at five meter. Okay. So the distance from here. Okay. Distance from B to W. Okay. This distance is five meter. And this small distance is three meter. So this will be two meter. So the distance or the lever arm for W is two from the point B. And it is creating a clockwise moment. Now there is P steel. What will be the effect of P steel? P steel is going to make this rotate anti-clockwise, which means minus P steel. What will be the lever arm? The lever arm will be the distance between B and D. And it is given in the problem B and D, the distance is 6 meters. So times 6. There is no other forces. There are just this reaction in aluminium rod, reaction in steel rod and this weight. So I can equate this to 0. So from this, I will be getting P steel is equal to okay, one third of W. Okay, P steel is equal to one third of W. So this is one relation I got. Now, if I can substitute this in my equation one, okay, that will fetch me the result P aluminium is equal to W minus PST. That is W minus one third of W, which is two by three W. I got the value of P aluminium and P steel. Now these two values are available with me. Now I can think about this particular uh, expression. So we know that delta, the general equation, delta or delta L change in length is given by P L by A E. So what will be delta A L? Delta A L is equal to P A L multiplied by the length of aluminium. Okay length of aluminium rod is 4 meter it is given in the problem so 4 i'm putting it as mm 4 meter equal to 4000 mm and a aluminium okay that is the area of aluminium which is an unknown multiplied by e e aluminium is given as 1 times 10 raised to 5 so basically 10 raised to 5 now similarly what will be delta steel it will be P steel times length is 6 meter that is 6000 divided by A steel times 2 times 10 raised to 5 which is the Young's modulus of steel. Okay, So I have a relationship between delta AL and delta steel. I can equate them. P AL is 2 third W and P ST is 1 third W. Now, what I want is the relationship between delta AL and delta steel. Sorry, not delta AL. I need bond relation between area of aluminium, area of steel. So, as per this relation, I can equate these two. So, I will be getting an expression PAL, which is 2 by 3 W. So, 2 by 3 W times 4000 divided by A aluminium times 10 raised to 5 is equal to P steel that is one third W one third W times 6000 divided by A steel times 2 raised to 2 into 10 and raised to 5. So in here I can just cancel out the common terms. So there are a lot of terms. So W and W they will get cancelled out. Okay, w, w gone. 10 raised to 5, 10 raised to 5, gone. Three zeros here, 4000, three zeros here, gone. So what left is, this is 2 times 4, okay, 2 times 4. So that what I'm going to get is 2 times 4, that is 8 by 3, okay, 8 by 3. 3 AL okay, AAL is equal to here what I'm going to get is there is 3 here there is 6 so 
this three goes down so six by six they get cancelled out so what i'll be getting is six that is one by a s t now what is asked in the problem is to get the relationship ratio of a a l to a a s t that is a a l by a s t is equal to what will be the answer it's going to be eight by three which is the final answer that you are expected to calculate the ratio of area of aluminium AAL to area of steel such that this rod will remain horizontal that is the elongation for the aluminium rod and elongation for the steel rod should be equal so that condition we have utilized and we got the final answer the ratio